For impalpable breast cancer, we are using a subsidy of the wires, and uh, these are the machines where you use radio frequency seed localized at the center of the cancer, and then these are the localizer which helps to locate where the seed is. For example, if the seed is right at the center, we point it and we find it out where the seed is, and then with this probe, we use it to find where the cancer is, and then we make a cut, do a white local excision, and then once the specimen is out, in your hand, you could probe and feel the distance from the margin of the cancer, the white local specimen, to the sea. And it's a beautiful, you know, innovative technique to help you know, identify impossible cancers with the help of the radio frequency seed and with these localizers works beautifully. And uh, we will have another demonstration once we have the surgery. And, uh, this is purely a substitute for wire localization. Uh, which is more easier? Is it is guide wire or? These are easier to do because the benefit is you could put the radio frequency seed a week before surgery. So that uh, on the day of surgery, it could be a lot busy and doing various things. So it saves a lot of waste and time. And uh, flexibility gives surgeons to modify the list. You know? So that's the technical aspect. As far as surgery is concerned, it's quite easy to use. And this is not expensive. And the radio frequency seat costs just over 200 pounds, uh, which might be cheaper in, uh, in other parts of the world. And uh, these are a one-timer currently using for each case. And it's quite working very well for us. So How this is purely a the price of this? It's about four and a half thousand pounds. Of this? How time it can use? On time? No, this is this is uh, forever. These are the ones, the probe, these are individual arms. Yes, disposal. Yeah. These are disposal arms, disposable. And as you can see, these are the plastic sleeves that you use for each phases. And uh, obviously the probe. Uh, the same seems to be in the other side, but also... Yeah, I don't know why. Hi, guys.